Welcome to day three, exploring the Badlands. We are just outside of Sage Creek Campground, and Natalie saw this feature over here, and she said, can we go check it out? So, the Badlands being one of the parks where you can essentially go and, and explore any part of it, we thought we would just pull off on the side of the road and come and check it out. I think the main thing we're trying to do here is what, Nat? Um, find fossils. Find fossils. Find fossils. Of course, just find them. Don't pick them up. Don't remove them. Don't do anything. Oh boy, this looks like it's going to be fun. I'd say we go down. We can cross the bridge and go over there. Whoa, what's that? It's this. Dude. Wait, it's, it's a big bone. It's a huge bone. Oh my goodness. I found the fossil. What's that? Let me see. What's that thing? Yeah, I don't know if that's a fossil. It looks like a piece of wood or something, but it's, I think it's a fossil. I think it's a bone. I think it's like a bone of a, a bison or something. See what I told you about the uh, Badlands and always having kids get stuck up on something? Watch this. This is the type of spot where the kids just love to find here at the Badlands. Alright, exploring is done. We're going to head back to the camper. They found a bunch of fossils, so that's good. Took some pictures, recorded the area. Back to the van, the BRB. He's peeing on me. Is he? Yeah. He's scared. Yeah, I know he's scared. Up on the back, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. See that thing right there is a welcome sight. The road here will rattle your bones. There was one time we came here with the excursion, and we were driving, and it was so bad that the brake line actually broke, and we were on the road, and all of a sudden I hit the brakes, and there was nothing there. You definitely want to go slow. Y'all coming? Yeah. How's politeness day working? Good. Pretty good? Great. Yes, That's sir. Great. Oh, very nice. It's working great. Yes. Today is politeness day. I told the kids if they were uh, if they would show good polite manners, they would the person who did the best would win and would win a prize at the end of the day. Oh nice. Polite manners. <laughs> Another thing we like about the Sage Creek Campground is that sometimes these friends show up and give us a visit. So it's definitely a scorcher today. We were just hanging out by the creek and we thought we'd come back since we were still pretty close, um, change our socks and shoes and all that and then um, do some lunch and we came back and the kids, they grabbed the handle on the camper and they're like, oh man, that's hot. And I was like, well, how hot is it? 151 degrees here in the sun. Our rug is 134. I just put the awning out, so that won't be too bad. Uh, that part of the rug is 139. This handle is 130. But this side of the camper is 154 degrees. Man, that is unbelievably hot. Woo! So. Yeah, so uh, we're going to try to stay cool today. 
Hey, that's a good idea. We're gonna wash our feet, get cleaned up, have some lunch, and then head back out. it was so hot we decided to take a break at a pool in Wall. So this is a Wall City pool. Very cool. Didn't have to pay anything to get in. Kids are swimming nicely. Water is nice and cold. Nice and cold. It's good for a 100 degree day. Since we found fossils this morning, we are going to the um, visitor center and supporting them, telling them that we found them, and hopefully our picture will get on the wall and we'll get a little fossil finder patch. Kind of same as the critters we're looking at right here. Now these are bacculites. What they are is they're a type of squid that lives in a shell. The shell grows out in a straight line. And then at the end, the reason we don't see them anymore is because this is the living chamber. So this is all filled in with mud, all the shell around it has already gone away, just like it has here, because if we see the shell, we'll see the shiny part, but when that shell goes away, we'll see those nice little squiggly lines. A few years back when we first started coming out to Sage Creek, I think back in 2016, the girls went out and they did some exploring. They found an awesome fossil and they were so excited about it. They picked it up and they brought it in and uh, we got quite a bit of trouble for it. Not, I mean, not a ton of trouble, but they were like, oh, you should never do that, you know, and gave us the long, the long speech. And, you know, the girls were a couple of years younger and they were pretty worried. And I had to fill out this form and they said, well, they might even contact you and they might even fine you, you know, stuff like that. And we were like, okay, well, we learned our lesson. But what's interesting today is we brought in a picture of a fossil and and the uh, the guy goes into the closet and he grabs a fossil and brings it back out so that he can explain what we just found and we're looking at it and then we walk out and the girls go dad dad that's the fossil that we brought in so we went back in and just let him know hey we we're the ones that brought in that fossil and um, I'm glad that you guys are using it one that smaller one with the shiny we brought that in oh <laughs> so yeah but you know we got in trouble back then for it so yeah, we learned yeah, yeah. our lesson That's well now we... now yeah this is what we want you to do we want you to keep coming out and exploring and, and finding finding new stuff but leaving it where it is we felt pretty bad about that whole situation you know years ago and we were we were like oh man we shouldn't have picked it up and but uh but now that we know that they're using it to show people what the fossils look like we feel better but of course we're not going to pick them up and bring them in but uh, it's pretty fun that we saw the fossil that we brought in right we're back at wall drug again tonight wednesday night hanging out jenna what do you think of this place this place is like the awesomest place i highly recommend it if you're ever near badlands you gotta go to wall drug yeah it has everything here. We come here every night that we camp here and we get ice cream and it's awesome. Chocolate rub your float. It's, a, it's actually really good. It sounds not that good, but it's really good. It has kind of a weird aftertaste, but it's, it's mostly good. Don't worry, Alex. I, I like it. I like it. Go ahead, drop it in, and then make your selection. You're going to love it. All right, so today, day number, what is it, three? three? Day number three is a wrap. And I got Jenna here. What did you like? What was your funnest part of the day? Um, I don't know, finding all the fossils in the morning. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. We just went literally like a mile down the road. And right around there was tons of fossils. We took a ton of pictures of them. You'll probably see them in the video today. We submitted them to the rangers. They liked what we saw and it was awesome. And Nat, what did you think of the day? Um, I liked it a lot. Um, my favorite part was finding the fossils and having to slide down the hill and get stuck. 
Yeah, there was a point where I had to catch the girls because they were stuck up you at the top. Typical Badland style, stuck at the top, right? It's easier to get up than down. That's true. It is. That's where we get in these predicaments. All right, Luke, what did you think? What was the best part of the day? Wall drug. Wall drug. Yep, for the third night in a row. And you? My favorite part of the day was buying this. This cap gun. This is the old style cap guns that put in the paper rolls. He's got a whole bunch. So he got the cap gun and 1,200 paper roll shots. Was that a good deal or what? Yeah. yeah. Pow, pow. All right, we'll load that up. So that's it for the day. We're heading out to the Black Hills tomorrow for a action-packed full day. Be sure to join us. We got a surprise for you. I can tell you what it is. Don't, don't say, don't, don't say anything. Shh, shh, he knows what it is. I tried to keep it a secret for them, but it didn't work. But uh, yeah. we'll let you know what it is tomorrow, and it'll be a great way to explore the Black Hills. That's for sure, yeah, that's right? That's for sure. Anyway, all right, so we'll see you tomorrow night. If you're brand new, be sure to subscribe, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.